guys doing? You good? I do not have an inside voice. Uh, <laughs> this is so stressful. I did something really cool recently. I, um, I moved in with my girlfriend. Now we live to... Thank you. <laughs> now we, we live together. Because uh, we were both like, this is going great. Let's throw it away. Uh, <laughs> Let's do it. Um, it makes a moderate amount of noise if you're in a relationship. <laughs> sure, that's cool. S sounded sad by default, that's fine. <laughs> um, but it's great living with your girlfriend and your partner because now you can do all the cool, like we can do all the cool things that we love doing together, that we both love. Like we both love Game of Thrones, right? And we're waiting for Game of Thrones to come back on air. We're just waiting for it at the moment. And <laughs> I was thinking about it and I went, wait, Game of Thrones, when it's not on air, is a little bit like a partner who went away on holiday without you. Do you know what I mean? Like when they're away, you're like, oh my God, I miss you so much, babe. I miss you so much, babe. I miss you so much. And then they come back and you spend an hour with them and you're like, oh yeah, you stress me out. <laughs> I don't know if I'm still into this. <laughs> and they're like, you want to see some boobs? And you're like, never mind, I love you again. <laughs> I, I'm, glad, I'm glad that I'm doing comedy for a living. I'm glad that that's my job because I think it's a great job to do. Like there are other jobs in the world that I don't think I could ever do. Like I don't think I could ever be a flight attendant. Um, ever because I think it'd be hard work and plus no one listens to flight attendants ever like ever like I was flying back here from a flight from Nelson um, and uh, the flight attendant came out and she goes uh, can I just please have everyone's attention for this brief safety briefing right and I looked around and no one looked up at all they were all just like Kyoto magazine for life like no one looked up <laughs> it's rude and, she, and the, the, the part where she goes, if you're using your own headphones, could you please just take them off for, for a couple minutes for this brief demonstration? And I shit you not, I saw a dude across the aisle go into his bag, get out a pair of headphones, <laughs> put them on, all while staring at her. And I'm like, could you be any more rude to this flight attendant? That's like her going, could you please t um, just take off your headphones? And you're going, nah, like that's so rude, right? See, but I didn't do that. Right? I was really nice to the flight attendant, okay? I listened. Right, because if the plane ever went down for real, she's in charge, okay? And I don't, wanna, I don't wanna be the dude when the plane's going down, stuck in a seat going, oh my God, where are the life jackets? And for her to be like.